be a day in my life if I did not provide a love reading, an update on this love connection. So if you are seeing this message, this message is for you. There's definitely a softness surrounding this love. Mutual understanding, mutual respect. Somebody's coming to a realization within this connection. We have a King of Cups and a Nine of Cups. Somebody's definitely coming to a realization of just how much you mean to them. Like I'm, I'm receiving the image of somebody's feelings like overflowing for you, nurturing you. I'm almost getting the sense of like water nurturing the earth because you feel very connected to the earth in some way. Um, and your person feels very connected to the water for some reason. So the water may be significant here for you. The ocean may be significant. Um, really, a lot of intense emotions, I feel, are swirling inside this person. And it's like they want to just pour out and into you. They're just not quite sure how. And to be honest, I'm also receiving the message that they're not quite ready. Um, there's a lot of fear surrounding love for this person. Fear of abandonment. Um, fear of being left when they show you all that you are and also again that fear of being left because they see who you are they really do they see how amazing you are like how prosperous you are they see how good things just happen to you they see um they see the sun when they look in your eyes like they see gold when they they look at you like they understand um how abundant you are in it's like it's like all of the ways of the world, but especially spiritually, they see how connected you are. And that's very intimidating to this person. But at the same time, they can also see where you lack protection, where you um, lack certain understandings. Like this person that you're currently um, thinking about, maybe you're with this person, maybe you're in separation, whatever it is, they also feel like they have something to offer you this isn't one of those connections where they don't feel like they have nothing to offer you they they feel like they have something more to offer you um i'm hearing that this person has offered this in the past to others and it's left them defeated it's left them stabbed in the back and and just trampled over and and it's led to many heartbreaks for this person um, because no one else has quite understood the depth of this person's love. No one has ever been able to um, see only the best in this person the way that you do. And that's the difference between you and anyone else that they've been with, is that anything that they deem is unworthy or unlovable or a reason to leave them, all of that is being projected onto you from them. You don't see any of that. You only see in them the good. You only see in them the worthy. And it's like you just genuinely believe in this person with the Wheel of Fortune here. Um, your belief in this person with the Eight of um, eight of Wands and the Page of Cups, it's, it's opening a new door for this love, the lovers on the bottom as well. It's opening this new door. Um, it, it's giving this person hope. It's like... Nobody's ever, nobody's ever sparked that curiosity, that hope within this person the way that you have. It's almost like you've awoken the, um, their inner child. And not just that, but you are, you're speaking to their inner child in ways that, it's like little things, like I'm being shown a specific example of like something that their parent yelled at them for that you just absolutely adore about them and you offer them that nurturing and you offer them that love and you're just like slowly healing this person's inner child and um it's hard for this person part of them wants to push it away which is why you feel that kind of rejection from them sometimes or you feel that shift in energy because little interruption which worked out because sometimes my videos get deleted so good it won't get deleted um but as I was saying, um, this person has never been able to open up to anyone the way that they've opened up to you. They've loved before. They've been in all kinds of different loves in the same way that you've experienced all kinds of different loves. And it's so strange because I'm being shown like opposites. It's like you've experienced um, really toxic loves. Um, 
specifically with masculines and then this masculine has also experienced toxic loves with feminine and it's like you've both experienced toxic love and um this feels really healthy it feels like it's it's happening at a time where both of you can feel supported and encouraged to grow and learn together and you're going to receive so many different little signs and synchronicities that you're on the right path and that you're meant to be together like you'll hear your names randomly called out and and you'll see the angel numbers 555 999 even 666 and i know people get really hesitant about that one but i personally believe that um the powerful people in this world hide the most powerful energies behind what people fear the most um, so just keep that in mind whenever you hear of like something that's coming from a place of fear i usually like to imagine that those are the ones where that really good stuff is hiding um, if you can see it with love and if you can see it in a positive way so um opposites attract and that's definitely the case here um but for good reason it's like both of you need each other for reasons that it's like you have what they need and they have what you need you offer this person strength they offer you safety and protection um and there's not a single battle that's going to go undefeated by you both there's not a single time where you're going to have to question this person's loyalty to you their love for you it's going to be shown to you time and time again um you both hold a key that is so necessary for creating this future of freedom. I'm getting chills. This future of freedom where masculine and feminine can come together and understand one another and be united. And then from there, blossoms are created. Family is created. It's like you're bringing family back together. And both of you have a choice always to stay or walk away. But within this specific connection, it's going to, no matter like what happens, you will come together again. And this is probably the most powerful truth I've ever spoken. Like I even resonate with that as it's coming out of my mouth. It's like you will always come together again with this person. This is your forever person. I've never said that in a reading before. I've never had that come through. It's a really powerful energy. As always, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you have questions, if you feel called to dive in further, I offer personal questions via texting. Um, I have emails, video recordings, as well as my full moon ceremony coming up here. Um, it's going to be something like this, along with a ritual candle and all of the good things and all of the good energy. So if you do feel called, uh, my website, you can click the link in my bio and you can decide for yourself. And I am here if you feel called.